What's poppin' boys and girls, it's BC. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another statue slash figure review. Today we have from Green Arrow. The television series Stephen Amell, Green Arrow, Star City 2046. Collectible just look like statues you guys see here. I believe this is limited edition. Um, but as you guys will see, if you're a fan of Arrow, the TV show, this was the last season, Old Man Stephen Amell. With the gray beard. I mean, this is freaking epic. Uh, let's see, includes a bonus head as well. So, made by DC. And that's actually, it's Icon Heroes was one of the manufacturers. But I bought this through DC Collectibles, I'm pretty sure. Could have been Sideshow. But, yeah, there we go. Limited edition of number 300 only pieces, boys. This is number 269 of 300. Um, here's the back showing the weapons, the bow and arrow. The gear. So, we're going to go ahead and assemble this, guys. It's going to be a shorter video. Way shorter than usual. So, let's go ahead and take this out of the box. Take a look at the statue. Stephen Amell. I would say this isn't the largest statue. Maybe an 8, 9 inch statue. But we'll, everything's going to be in the video description, guys. Always in the dimensions. Weight, etc. Always below in the video description. So, let's go ahead and put this thing together. Take a look at it right now, boys and girls. Okay, guys, so a quick look here. I just cracked this open. Uh, looks like it's going to be pretty simple to put together. Um, but it does come with a certificate of authenticity. English. As you see here, guys, Icon Heroes in the collaboration with DC and Arrow 2018. I guess I've had this for, I don't know, I don't know how long I've had this. But I would say a couple months. But there's certificate number 269 of 300. The back's probably going to be blank. Yep. But there it is, two uh, head sculpt versions. So, let's go ahead and fully assemble it. Take a look at it. We'll take a look at both heads on this, uh, different head sculpts on this statue. So, we'll take, go ahead and measure it too as well, guys. That way we know the exact height with the head on. So, let's take a look at it fully assembled right now. And here we have it, guys. There's one of the head sculpts. As you guys will notice on the box right here, the other head sculpt is the hooded version. But let's go in for better detail. Actually, not bad at all. Pretty good portrayal of 2046 Stephen Amell as the Green Arrow, which I believe he's doing a new uh, show coming up, I'd say at the end of the year, early next year, called The Heel. It's like a wrestling-based uh, movie, or TV show, I'm sorry. But here's the base. Let's take a look at it right quick, guys. Anything on bottom? There we go. Hand number 269 of 300 Icon Heroes. Um... But overall, I mean, for a smaller statue, this is really nice. Cost-effective. Here's a good look at the back. I mean, what you see is what you get. I mean, this does not detach. It comes already uh, attached to the figure. The bow arrow. The uh, extra arrows in the back. I guess there's only a bow, not an arrow. Arrows in the back. But let's just take a look at the, uh, the suit there. The zipper, it doesn't actually zip down, guys. This is uh, just one solid piece. But I really dig it. It's a nice statue. Eight inches in height. I don't know if I said that already, but I did measure it. Um, but I'll tell you what, guys. As you see this head sculpt, I really like this head sculpt. But I believe I am going to go with the hooded head sculpt. So let's go ahead and take a look at it with the other head sculpt on right now. And see which one we think is better. And there we have it, guys. Um, this is definitely how I'll be displaying this. Let's just do a zoom in here on the head, the hooded version. And I really like this. This is more of a green arrow look to me. Um, the other one had more of a trail of Stephen Amell. Sorry I'm not the steadiest with the camera here, guys. Um, but I'm trying to get in on a focus for the head sculpt. For an 8-inch statue, guys, I kind of knocked it out of the park. Let's be honest here. Very cost-effective statue. Good addition to the DC collection. Um, considering also I do have another Stephen Amell statue I'll be doing shortly um, within the next couple weeks. But, yeah. I mean, this gives it a lot more uh, pop, a lot more attitude to the statue. So, overall, I mean, especially for the, I mean, for the price overall, definitely a 9 out of 10. Overall, not considering price, we give it an 8 out of 10. But, I mean, cost and, you know, price, cost-effective statue, definitely 9 out of 10, guys. Um, I love how they do different head sculpts here. So, yeah, I mean, definitely this is a great addition. So let's just give it an up and down, and we'll do it from side to side, and then the back of it. 
And we'll go ahead and make this video shorter. There's going to be no ads in this video, as you probably noticed. I mean, yeah, I think if you could find this, I mean, you're a Green Arrow fan or just a DC fan in, in particular, or just getting a starter collection going, this is a great addition, guys, to anybody's collection here. And being number two, just only 300 manufactured, it's a good piece. Let's take a look from the side here. I mean, I really like it. I, I mean, I'll be honest, far exceeded what I expected when I purchased the statue. Let's just do a zoom in here. But I think this was only like one or two episodes of the last season of Arrow where they had, you know, it was kind of like a time travel type thing. And I really dig how they did that episode. I mean, Arrow was just one of my favorite shows. But I think they're doing a spinoff with Diggle where he's going to play, um, what is it, Lantern, Green Lantern? I believe so. But there it is, guys. We're going to go ahead and make this a shorter video. We're going to close it out right there. Um, of course, here is the other head sculpt right here that you can go with, which is the Stephen Amell, just plain head, no uh, no hood, which it does have a really good portrayal. I mean, I think they freaking kicked ass on this statue here, guys. But, all right, that's going to go ahead and close it out, boys and girls. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's review number 185. Overall, 9 to 10 for the caustics. I mean, this is a good one. This is a good one. I really like the statue here. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. But that's going to close it out, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.